Veronica, we learned this in court today, some pretty interesting information that came from the judge. Absolutely, that information coming from the judge. Very surprising. Now, that DDOT worker who's charged with hitting and killing Janice Bauer of Gross Point Park is facing, could face up to a year behind bars. She has more than 25 years on the job. Meanwhile, Bauer's loved ones laid her to rest yesterday. Tonight, they're remembering her life. Take a look. We just want to pass along our sincerest condolences to her family, and, and she'll be sorely missed. Pictured here in her obituary, those who knew Janice Bauer remember her as a caring person who spent her life loving the city of Detroit. <laughs> that was a mistake right there. <sighs> man, you glad it's taking it in the ass, man. And she'll like be sorely said. missed. Pictured here in her obituary, those who knew Janice Bauer remember her as a caring. She looked like one of the golden girls. <laughs> yeah, she like one of the good old ladies, man. Shit. Person who spent her life loving the city of Detroit. She was one of our best ambassadors. You know, she'd be out in the community talking with her friends, talking with, you know, people who might not have ever come to the Detroit Historical Museum and suggesting that they that they visit. Tracy Irwin of the Detroit Historical Society says Bauer was a member for 25 years and a dedicated volunteer. Very cheerful. You know, I think Janice is someone that you remember for her smile and her energy, her enthusiasm about Detroit's history. Bauer's obituary says she also worked for the Suburban Mobility Authority for Regional Transportation, or SMART, as a dependable ADA clerk. But now... We're so sad. To, to not have her part of our community anymore. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy says DDOT bus driver Geraldine Johnson <laughs> ran Bauer over with a bus as Bauer crossed the street. Invest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she don't even look sympathetic in the fucking. God, Lee, she just looks stone cold and shit, man. <clears throat> like, man, her, but give me a bomb. If I go back. She thinks she's going back to work the next day, man. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Sons be man, we be we be we be whacking some shit out here, man. We, we be dangerous. <laughs> but the narrative, yo, it's it's not even that we doing this shit. It's the fact that it, the narrative is what it is by the mainstream media. That like we just victims, dainty little victims, and everybody always <laughs> fucking with us twenty four seven. You can't catch a break. And then the real story is just so much different. It's just crazy. Ever part of our community anymore. <laughs> Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy says DDOT bus driver Geraldine Johnson ran Bauer over with a bus as Bauer crossed the street. Investigators say Johnson hit Bauer while turning left at the intersection of Griswold and West Congress back on June 2nd. Then on Wednesday in court. So the court does find you, you to be a danger. Johnson's surprising driving record came to light when she went before a judge. 2015, you were involved in a traffic crash resulting in a fatal injury. Damn, she what? killed somebody. What? what? Yo, did he take her license? Yo, what the? Yo, come on, man. This is crazy. Yo. The most unprotected. If it's a black woman, we have to be. We can't express ourselves. We gotta be so. We gotta tamp down our emotions and make sure we don't. <laughs> God, Lee. If we make one little mistake, man, a hammer of white supremacy just gonna come down on us. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It just gets worse and worse. It gets worse and worse every like every every story we do. It just gets worse. And worse yeah, real shit. Worse. It'll it'll go down. It goes up. God, God. Lee. Oh. 2015. You were involved in a traffic crash resulting in a fatal injury. That there have been crashes either with a bus or your personal vehicle in 2018, two in 19, one in 20, one in 21, one in 22, yo, and then we have this minute. matter today. <laughs> yo, yo, this is some privilege, black privilege shift. You don't stop. Man, listen, this lady should have had a license revoked Oh, like three crashes. You got like six of them joints? It was like back to back, 21, 22, 20. Man. <laughs> um, Fucking believable, man. I tell you, man. Yikes. 
you were involved in a traffic crash resulting in a fatal injury, that there have been crashes either with a bus or your personal vehicle in 2018, two in 19, one in 20, one in 21, one in 22, and then we have this matter today. Geraldine Johnson should have been still driving a bus, in my opinion. I've handled hundreds of bus accidents over the last 30 years, and I don't know if I've seen quite a disaster of a driving record like this person. Johnson is now charged with moving violation causing death. That charge, attorney Mike Morris says, is a misdemeanor. If you <laughs> wow. Yeah, her record is fucked up, and they still, she's killed somebody. They're like, yeah, you know, shit. You might so be like, right, she might think she's going back to work tomorrow. <laughs> Godly. Salute to Gil B, man. Gil B in the building, man. Shout out to Gil B, he says. Thanks for keeping us informed. I, I mean, it just gets worse, man. I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. Like, listen, man, and I'm not complaining about this because as a son, if I fuck around and make a mistake or I got to whack somebody, man, I, this is good for me, man. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> Fuck that, man. Keep it like this, man. No changes until I get in, you know what I'm saying? If I get in trouble, man. Don't don't try me on hard if I get in trouble, man. Don't treat me like a glider, man. I want I want that sun man treatment. Oh shit, man. God. Oh. <laughs> Real shit. He said, don't change that shit. Yeah, I, want this shit. I need this treatment, man. <laughs> if I think about it, man, like, what she said, 2015, she killed somebody. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2019, yeah, 2019, like two, the seven yeah, all together. Two, <laughs> seven all every together. year, every year, she <laughs> at least one, at least one person. Damn. And they charge her with a misdemeanor. You might be right. She might be thinking she's going home tomorrow, going back on the going back to work. Uh, she got attitude, man. Get these cuffs off me, man. <laughs> she got attitude. Johnson is now charged with moving violation causing death. That charge, attorney Mike Morris says, is a misdemeanor. If, if you have any moving violation and cause death, you could be sentenced if found convicted up to a year. So this isn't a felony where she could be put in prison for many, many years. Now as Johnson awaits her next court date in August, Irwin says we should take away two lessons from Bauer's life. If you have an enthusiasm and an excitement for something, get involved, share your talent, and, and be part of organizations that you care about, um, but also live life every day, because obviously we just don't know when that's going to end. That's the lesson? That driver received... Yeah, man. <laughs> Let... <laughs> I want fucking justice from that fucking piece of shit, man. She took away our friend, man. What the fuck? Right. They're not... They... They, they they know it's a black person. You can't talk about black folk like that, man. Oh, hell no. You got to watch your words and shit. Yeah, she might have said that if it was a white white bus driver. Received a $100,000 personal bond. Now, meanwhile, she's due back in court in August. The city of Detroit says they're conducting an internal review. And right now, she's off the road. Reporting live. We'll send it back to you. Finally, it's amazing that she was even allowed behind the wheel, like you said. But what does the secretary of state's office have to say about this? Yeah, we did reach out to the secretary of state's office. They said that if you are found to be at fault of hitting some and hitting and killing somebody, you could face very severe consequences, including losing your license. The secretary of state said <laughs> losing your license. No, that's that's the that's the bad part. You're going to lose your license. Don't worry about it. You're not going to jail, but you're going to lose your license. Oh, my God is that they do follow Michigan law. Of course, in these cases, the Secretary of State's office says that right now, the law does not call for permanently suspending somebody's driver's license. The law doesn't call for permanently <laughs> suspending. Oh, God, my Jesus Christ.